What's up guys, welcome back. We're going to have a look at the Japanese team that competed at Baku. Uh, everyone except Saito. I did a, a video on Saito, so if you want to check that out, have a look. But we're just going to look at the whole team, uh, how they did overall. Obviously, Mashiyama on the screen right now, he got gold in the under 90 kg category. So uh, he's definitely looking to be like uh, the big prospect from the ones that they sent. And you can just see from his attacking style, uh, he he seems really strong as well in his positions. And, and when he goes in for an attack, just like this, you can, you can see he's it's not a drop. He's not going to get a shido for it. His attacks look genuine, and he's got a wide variety of attacks as well. So, uh, Mashiyama, I mean, maybe he got a little bit lucky here, uh, grabbing the leg and golden score, and that's how he won the gold. But uh, throughout the day, I mean, he had... Great attacking judo, and he just looks strong in the positions. Doesn't look like he's getting overwhelmed at any point. I mean, look, he's he's up against uh, Given Ashvili here from Georgia, one of the stronger uh, judoka on the planet, probably, and definitely in the under 90 kg category. But just gripping well and uh, kind of dominating the grips, you know, which leads to a nice Uchigari here. And by the way, guys, I got a new mic. So let me know if what you think about this microphone. Uh, I'm not too good with the settings or anything, so uh, let me know what you think. But here you can see, yeah, Mashiyama defends well against Becca, and look at that Becca with that big top grip. He manages to posture up and defend the Uchimata well. So uh, out of all of the Japanese that were sent to Baku, except for Saito, uh, Mashiyama he definitely looks. Uh, to really be competing for that that spot at uh, the 90 kg look at that that's that's a really unique throw I mean he could could have gone for a bit of Newaza but look he's confident in his Tachiwaza that's what he wants to do look at this just keeps going for the throw just keeps looking for something really really nice judo so we've got Mukai uh, at under 90 as well and Nagasawa but those two, they're not, they're not kind of standout performers at under 90 for Japan, so Mashiyama, he definitely has an opportunity to kind of show his stuff. And look at this, you know, standing Morote Seoinage into an Osoto, kind of looks like Abe a bit. Didn't get, didn't get the throw, here's a, a one-handed Sode, not a score, but you can see that he's constantly going for attacks, he's never out of position, he doesn't really get countered. I mean, look at this, beautiful, strong Seoinage. So Mashiyama, definitely someone to watch out for. Right next I want to talk about Kondo. And Kondo, he went out in the semi-finals against Oguzov. Manages to uh, go through and score the bronze medal, but... I'm not sure what I think about him. I think uh, he's definitely got all the techniques. Nice Uchimata, nice drop down Seiwinage, and great transitions into the Newaza. Always looking for a pin or a submission. Uh, nice Ochigari here as well. So, uh, maybe it's just me, but he, he kind of looks a little bit small for the category. Maybe he needs to put on a bit more muscle. If you compare him to uh, Nagayama or Takato, they just look a bit more solid, especially in the leg area. Um, and I don't think Kondo's kind of winning on his speed or anything. So, uh, we will see. We will see. I mean, look at that. that that's just beautiful... Beautiful work there. In my opinion, that should have been a score. But uh, he manages to move on and do this, obviously. A nice driving drop down Seoinage. But yeah, I'm not quite sure what it is with Kondo. Maybe he, he was a bit apprehensive. First international tournament in a, in a long while. I think it's his first as a senior. So you can just see in some situations he was kind of waiting. Like in this instance here, he's got the grips. And he's not going. You can see he's he's just waiting for something. I mean, in the next exchange, he, you can see that he kind of forces uh, something to happen, a seoinage, which I think is 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 better than what he should be he be doing. But just in some instances, he looks like he's kind of waiting, a bit apprehensive. Here he is again, and this time capitalizes on a on a counter. Maybe he was looking for that all along, but. I think for international judo, 
with Sheetles and there's only three of them, you got to attack. you got to attack. Uh, Aida Yuji now. Another interesting uh, fighter from Japan. Lots of Ashiwaza and really, really good Newaza. And he doesn't have the problem of strength. But I think he has the problem of strategy. You can see that um, he's dropping down a lot and these can lead to Shido's. I mean, the example I always bring up is Ono Shohei. That guy, how often do you ever see him go for a throw and he doesn't get it? And he lands on you know his back or his front or whatnot and he gets a Shido for a bad attack. That guy never throws a bad attack. The only the only time he ever gets a Shido is if he's being a little bit passive on the feet, but I think with the way the rules are now, you gotta you gotta make good attacks often and frequently and they need to lead to scores. So Aido Yuji I think he's gotta work on a few things just strategically, but he's definitely got the techniques. See the Tayotoshi was good, but this I don't think you need to be doing this. Here again. So if he stopped there, that probably would have led to a Shido, but because he jumped on the Newaza, I mean he obviously got the score, but he's just walking a fine line between am I gonna lose by Shido or not? Tanaka on the other hand, uh, at the 66 kg category as well, he's aggressive. But I think Tanaka has some gripping issues. Uh, if you watch his final at the Paris Grand Slam, which he won, uh, he had some some gripping challenges in the final against his Japanese teammate. His name escapes me right now, but um, he's definitely got the big throws, and that's what's kind of carrying him. Look, he's up, he's up uh, two shitos in that in that match there, but he gets the Ipon, but. Um, yeah, he, he, he's definitely talented. I think he kind of gassed, to be honest, against uh, Vieru, uh, which he lost, and then that kind of led to the bronze match against uh, Aida Yuji, but we'll see. I mean, Tanaka, he looked amazing at Paris, and then I think at Baku, he just maybe was a bit tired. Two, two big international tournaments uh, in quick succession for such a young guy just on the international scene. Might have been a bit too much. But look at this, look at the defense. He, he survives this, I think his elbow is probably a bit compromised here. And uh, it's gonna hurt. But he manages to defend, uh, his heart is in it. I mean, look at his face, he's grimacing, he's grimacing. But yeah, Tanaka, he takes that one with a Wazadi. Aida Yuji probably needs to work a bit more strategy around the skills that he has. And Tanaka, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. So next up, Oyoshi Ken. And Oyoshi, I'm really excited about him. Very similar to Mashiyama, in the sense that his judo is is really well developed. He knows what he's doing. Look at this. Feeds the arm behind his head to get his his, his rollover. So uh, he knows exactly what he wants to do, and he knows his strengths. And he fights to get his his strengths in the right position, and then he goes for them. Against Orujov here. And ju just, just to illustrate the point that I'm talking about. So, he must have known before going into this match that this is how Ono Shohei dealt with Orujov. His coach probably told him, probably told him, hey, try this. And he tried it and he got the score. So, uh, strategically, does very, very well. Commits to his techniques here. So, he loves his Uranage, which is odd for a Japanese fighter but uh, he knows that's his strength, he goes for it, and quite often he comes out the other end with a really, really good score. Look at this. How often do you see a Japanese fighter do that? It reminds me a little bit of Iliadis picking up, um, what was his name? A Japanese fighter a long, long, long time ago. Satoshi, was it? No, no, no. Anyway, Oyoshi. Definitely someone I'm excited for, and you should probably keep him on your radar as well. Right, next up we've got Tomokio. And to be quite honest, I think Tomokio looks a bit small for this category. 
Uh, he's got the grips, and when he dominates, you know, he's able to do what he, he wants to do. But I do think he just looked a little bit small. A little bit small for the division. Although, I mean, he's definitely got the technique, so... I mean... How... What can you expect from people, right? I mean, they can't just bulk up all of a sudden when they've been fighting at this weight class uh, all this time. So, I mean, here he is again. The smaller fighter, but, I mean, he manages to get in there. And that's an Epon, if you ask me. I don't know what that ref's on, but... Come on, that, that's an Epon to me. And next up, we've got uh, Ida. And Ida, he's an interesting one. I mean, I thought he would be the next big thing, but he's definitely struggling a little bit on in the international scene. Um, I think he has the same or similar problems as Ida Yuji, just some strategic mislaps. Uh, he's, you can see when his techniques do come out, they're quite amazing. But I think he just needs to put a bit more time into how he needs to fight international fighters what he's got to be careful of and I think he's just got to have a bit more confidence in his in his attacks I mean there's two Uchimatas that are coming up and they're quite spectacular I mean look at this one if you can do that surely you can do that on most fighters that's I mean look at this as well just grip and go so Ida just a few things to work on, but he's a talented individual. And last but not least, we've got Kamochi. Kamochi lost in his uh, second fight, so we didn't get to see much from him. But uh, he's definitely someone who... You, you can tell he's got a sense for judo. He's got a natural ability to just find the, the perfect place for a throw. I mean, look at that. Um... Yeah, I'm excited to see what else he can do, but, I mean, he lost by Shido in his second fight, so, uh, a bit of homework for him, just, you know, how to look busy, how to not grip in a way that's going to get you shido old so we'll see how he does. Anyway, guys, uh, like, subscribe, let me know what you think of this new mic, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.